Breaking news! The 50 Japanese government officials and 50 students who left 22 months ago on the Irokuro mission have finally returned. The voyage consisted of 12 countries and was led by Irokuro Tomomi, a government leader. Although not long ago Japan had a very ethnocentric worldview, they now want to modernize, and modernization was the very purpose for this mission, as the Japanese government wanted to gather the best ideas from around the world and use them in Japanese society. Over to you, Sally. Thanks, Teresa. I'm here with Kido Takayoshu, one of the two vice ambassadors of the mission. Tell me, Kido, how did how would you compare the Europeans and Americans to the Japanese? There really is no difference between our people and the Americans and the Europeans of today. It's all a matter of education or lack of education. Thanks, Keto. Back to you, Teresa. Thanks, Sally. It seems that Japan is going to be affected in many ways because of the Irokura mission, from government systems to religious freedom. The ambassadors of the mission concluded that the West's power and wealth came from the representative governments. The Japanese government has decided that the citizens need to participate in the government and plan to use the Charter Oath as a foundation. But the government is going to wait until the citizens are ready for a parliamentary system of government. One thing that I definitely noticed while on the, the voyage was how important religious freedom was in Europe and America. None of the nations we visited have banned out Christianity, so like we thought we should just put religious freedom in Japan too. According to the Japanese government, the most important part of society that needs change is education. The delegation is currently using the ideas from education institutions in Germany and the United States to develop a new education system for Japan. The ambassadors made the conclusion that it is essential for the government to aid in small business development in order to benefit and help economic growth. In conclusion, the Japanese leaders have chosen the aspects of other nations that they will integrate into Japanese society carefully as to not completely westernize their culture. This is Teresa McKernan, Meiji News, signing off.